How's it going guys? Me, Jaime Rodriguez with Pure Image Design and New Style Airbrush. I want to talk about Chicano Latin Style Lettering as well as some freehand airbrushing. We we'll talk a little bit about the airbrushes I'm using today. Uh, I usually use the Omnis. They were using the Vega 2000s. So I want to start off with showing you some uh, Chicano Style Lettering. Right here we're getting doing on the shirt for a friend of mine for a birthday party he's having. It's all freehand. What I do is I get it and I start painting. I'll lay down the letter in kind of a stick lettering. Uh, I'll map it out. I'll start with the middle letter and I'll work off the middle letter to make sure my spacing is correct. Then I'll start going in there once my stick line is done, my single thickness line. I'll go in, I'll thicken it up and sharpen the edges and give it that style and build up my lettering and start sculpting my lettering. That's kind of how I like to call it, sculpting it. You start adding form, shape, thickness, line work, all that good stuff. Uh, what we're going to do under here is do a 21, uh, similar to this style, again all freehand. Then on the sides of the letters, I'm going to do some real cool freehand airbrushing. Uh, since it's 21st bar, uh, first birthday party, I'm going to do like a uh, cartoony uh, liquor bottle with some cartoony maybe glasses or something like that. Just to kind of set the whole shirt off with the theme of the party. So uh, let's get started. We're going to go ahead and do the 21. We're using a Badger Spectratex acrylic paint. Ready to spray t-shirt paint right out of the bottle. Don't need a tin it. We're just going to start doing the uh, 21 all three hands. I'm working the dagger stroke as I go to the points. I'm tapering off the lettering with real clean dagger strokes throughout this whole piece. And just coming back over my lines and just kind of crisping, crisping lines up. Giving them a real clean, bold edge. And I'm going to do a, a fade from the top to the bottom. Just like so. I got this new adjustable little Mac valve here on the hose. I can adjust the pressure down to like 10 psi, 20 psi. Right now we're shooting about 35. The great thing about this new paint is you could shoot this paint at real low pressure and still get a lot of volume coming out with real nice, super clean detail. Paint has come a long way. You used to have to shoot paint at 70 psi. 65, 70, 80 psi to get the paint to come out because it was so thick or so chunky at times depending on what brand you're using. Now with paint like Spectratex, you can shoot paint at 15, 20 psi and have no problem. I'm going to give it a bladed edge, coming a little softer down edges of the line work. And some soft shading. There's a nice, nice beveled bladed edge here. Just like so. Always make sure to pick your tip. Make sure you don't get any tip dry. That'll harm your line work. Bam, there you go, you got yourself a nice 21. So to kind of go with the flow of the, uh, the Valencia style. Now on the sides here, we're gonna do some real cool characters. Uh, we're gonna start off with the shape, a stylized shape of a Patron bottle. So what I did here is I went onto my iPhone, 
and uh, I got the general shape of a Patron bottle. 